Hey folks, welcome to this week's edition of Brush Pile Fishing. We're here at Shenango Lake here in Pennsylvania. It is a cold October morning. Temperatures are about 38 degrees right now, but the fish are biting. I've got a great guest today. It's a good friend of mine, Kenneth Smith. So you stay tuned. We'll be right back here in Brush Pile Fishing. Many people look at a lake and feel a sense of calm serenity. Crappie fishermen feel the heart pounding anticipation of the thump. That's why host Russ Bailey is addicted to crappie fishing. It's this addiction that takes Russ from the Midwest to the Deep South in search of the best lakes, techniques, and patterns from some of the best crappie anglers in the country, right here on Brush Pile Fishing. Hey folks, welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing. We're here at Shenango Lake in Pennsylvania with my good friend, Ken Smith. How are we doing, Ken? I'm doing good, Russ. I'll tell you what, bud, we've talked about putting a show together. The last time we were gonna try, you were uh, under the weather. Yeah, a little bit. So we had to put it off, but uh, here we are in October. It's a little bit chilly this morning. A little bit. It's 38 <laughs> degrees. 38 degrees, it's pretty cold out here. Can you tell the folks what we're gonna do today? Well, we're gonna try this technique I've put together called hang gliding. Um, I used to fish down in Kentucky Lake where they could spider rig. Okay. They could use multiple poles down there. But up here, we could only use two. Yep. So I had to develop a little short line trolling system I call hang gliding. Okay. I'm gonna enjoy this. All right, we're using jigs, correct? Jigs, nibbles, that's about it. You ready to get started? Yes, sir, let's get it on. Well, folks, we're gonna do a little hang gliding, so you stay tuned, we'll be right back. Folks, welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing. We're on Shenango Lake. I'm with my good friend, Ken Smith, doing a little hang gliding this morning. And as we get going, Ken will explain that technique to you. Um, he developed this because in Ohio, Pennsylvania, we're kind of limited to just two poles. We're down south, you can have as many as you want a lot of times. So he developed this technique to kind of compensate for that. And he is, I fished this lake with him many times. Ken is the king of this area, oh, let me tell Russ. you. Hey, don't, don't hey. throw nothing on my shoulders I'm, that I can't carry, buddy. I'm telling it like it is. Crappie.com man of the year. It's a pleasure to have you here today, Ken, that's for sure. Yeah, my pleasure, Russ. Folks, we're in the middle of October. It's about 38 degrees out. Ken, what kind of uh, water temperature do we have? 64. So it's still fairly warm. Yeah, it's pretty warm for this time of year. We had that warm spell come through and knocked it up six degrees in one week. I was gonna say you ought to be coming across that brush pile there, Russ. We might have to put a split shot on yours to hold it down in there. It'll increase our chances of getting a snag, but if you ain't down there where they are, you won't get them. You won't get them. What kind of depth are we starting out in this morning? We're in eight foot. Okay. Ken, how long you been fishing Shenango? Wow, Russ. <laughs> Over 40 years. Been a while. Yep, there's another hit there. This is basically, well, when I developed it, it was basically for one person. But um, over the years, I've, I've learned how to pull the other person across the brush piles too. Can the Shenango have mainly black crappie, white crappie, or both? Well, we got both. Okay. And it's pretty much seasonal, too, because all year, all summer and spring, I caught the, the black ones. Okay. This time of year, the white ones will move in, and they're bigger, longer. Do you catch those in the same areas? I know same, it's different types of the year. But... Same area. Okay. Oh, just had another hit. There he is. Hey, Russ. There you go. Hey, Russ. Yes, sir. I'm not fishing in this boat by myself today <laughs> now. I'm waiting to see that, that pole go here. 
Ken, is this a lake that they draw down in the winter? Yes, they do. Uh, they'll draw it down as much as six to eight foot sometimes. Wow. Is that the time? Mm, there's a fish. That didn't take you long. Better fish, too. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. There's a nice Shenango fish here, folks. That's a white crop. Nice white crop, yeah. Well, hey, folks, we finished up at hole number one. Kent's caught a few little crappie. We're going to try to locate some bigger fish, and I might even try to catch one in the next spot. So you stay tuned. We'll be right back. Get ready. Get registered. Get qualified for the 2018 Cabela's Crappie USA Classic, hosted this year on Lake Cumberland in Somerset, Kentucky. Crappie USA, the largest crappie tournament organization in the world, is giving you the chance to compete for over $100,000 in cash and prizes, including two Ranger boat packages powered by Mercury and Minn Kota in our amateur and professional divisions. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a beginner, take your fishing to the next level with Crappie USA and the Cabela's Crappie USA Classic. The new home for your fishing needs is boneheadtackle.com. Get all the latest product information. Shop our new and improved tackle shop. We have baits for crappie, bass, striper, sand bass, saltwater and terminal tackle, bait styles and slim stick, stump bugs, brush gliders and bulk jig heads available. Check out our superior mono line, crankbaits for bass, and our top of the line carbon fiber fishing rods. Bonehead Tackle, family owned business with one goal in mind. Make fishing more fun and help all anglers catch more fish. BNM Poles. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Whether you are jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, BNM has your pole. Third generation family company with over seven years experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Pole. The first and best selling graphite jig pole in the US for over 35 years. Visit BNMPoles.com for yours today. This episode of Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by Bonehead Tackle, Catch More Fish, Gamma Line, Driftmaster, Crappie USA, Buckeye Ford, Southern Pro, War Eagle Boats. I love this little handheld, Russ. That's, that's that sharpshooter. Yeah. There we go. Not bad. A little chunker there. Come here. You caught it as soon as we hit the brush pile. Sir. Look at there, folks. Another nice little white. You can tell that water's starting to cool off and losing a little bit of color. Yes, sir. Folks, we're glad to have Jenko on board with us using their jigs today and one of the lightest nets you're ever going to find on the market. Oh, wow. Oh, man, he hammered you. Yeah, it is a good one there, Russ. Look at there, folks. Nice fish. That is a dandy. Hey, folks, welcome to today's Brush Pile Gear Check. As you could see, we were doing a little hang gliding with Kenneth today. And here's the two poles that we were using. First of all, the poles that we had just laying down over the side of the boat, he had a Bucks Ultralight by B&M, 11 foot pole. I had the B&M Pro Staff spinning reels. Now we had an eight pound test line and here's the thing that made a difference today. So we went with an egg sinker. Basically we wrapped the line through about three times that hold that tight. And it also gives you weight to keep these jigs down because, again, we're constantly moving. Now, we went with the jig head, and here's one of the keys in today's show. As you know, we had a severe cold front come through. Uh, it was in the upper 70s the last several days. It was 30-something degrees when we started. They would not hit any big bait, any live bait, or anything in the morning. So what we did, we were using Mermaid Baits by Jenko, And these are actually, they have ribs in those. And I would count back about four or five ribs. And this is a soft plastic. So all I did, twist it a little bit. I took that off. And then I put that short part onto the jig head. And I'm using that bait 
Shorting it down made all the difference in the world. Like I say, they wouldn't hit any live bait. They wouldn't hit a full size tube or anything we were using. We shortened this down and they absolutely whacked it the rest of the day. That was one key to get these to bite. But the other thing is the second pole we used were dock shooters by B&M, a lot shorter pole. Kenneth had a five and a half, I had a six. And again, this made a big difference because sometimes the bites were so light, if you had the pole laying there, you wouldn't see it. However, when you had pole in hand, it made all the difference in the world because you could feel the slightest little tick on that line. So actually having that pole with you made a big difference. Thanks for joining us. That's today's Brush Pile Gear Check. You know, the limit on this lake is no size limit, but you can keep 50 crappy. 50, man, that's 50. a big limit. It's a fantastic limit. It's not gonna hurt this lake to keep it that way either. And no size limit. No size limit. Oh. So I'll say get that Janko net out there. There you go. Wow. Oh, wow. Did he smack that one? You are getting hammered up there. Look at that fish. Talk about nice. Good, healthy, white crappie. Definitely more movement in this than some of the guys spider rigging now. They're basically doing a vertical mm -hmm. where we're moving a little bit more. That's fish. You didn't hear that deep? Yep. That is that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a good one too. Folks, he was uh, telling me early, earlier, Ken was telling me on this pole, he's got a bead between a couple of the islets at the top. There's another and one. And there's another fish. And uh, he said a buddy of him told him, told him about that. You would hear that bead when a fish hit, and you could hear it cranking then. Another good oh, fish. Oh, yeah, here's a good one. And there we go up. Oh, top. dang, I keep. I'm so used to <laughs> having your net where you need it. Look at there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll set that right there so I don't lose it again. I keep grabbing the, the We GoPro. think about how light that is. That's fantastic. I got to get one of those. Step up your game and step into a War Eagle Blackhawk 2170. The Blackhawk 2170 gives anglers a tough aluminum hull with over 21 feet of stable, well-balanced fishing real estate. War Eagle, we build them tough for hunters who like to fish. Welcome to the world of Mustad. Legendary craftsmanship with over 180 years of experience with advanced designs and technology. Mustad is a name you can trust for whatever you fish for. The long trusted classic and big game hooks, the innovative ultra point designs, assortment of tools and jigs, or pre tied rigs and accessories. Quality and durability are built into every Mustad product. Saltwater giants or freshwater trophies make your next trip more memorable with Mustad. For great fishing, check out Grand Lake St. Mary's. Located in West Central Ohio, if you're looking to land bass, catfish, crappie, perch, or bluegill, Grand Lake is the place for you. Check out greatergrandlakeregion.com. <clears throat> There's another good one. Oh, yeah. On the jig pole. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, here I go again. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to grab that GoPro pole rather than my net. I've noticed you've caught more on that pole in hand, that small jig pole, uh, then. I told you, I'll catch probably 70 to 80% of my fish on it. Then it's hard for you to do it like that because you're sitting so far yeah, back. Yeah. So if you had a seven, eight foot pole. Oh, that is. Seven foot nice. Sam Heaton would be good for this if you're in the back of the boat. Yeah. The other thing I've noticed about this lake, there's enough cuts. No matter where the wind's blowing, that's, you should be able to get out of yes, it somewhere. Sir, I love this lake. No matter what direction, and there's brush in every area that you can find. What you got there, Ken? He feels a little better than the last one. Uh, not much bigger, but white crappie. 
Well, just caught a black one and now I got a white one. Yep. Hang gliding. This is a technique I haven't used before. And it was pretty interesting, folks, because we weren't actually vertical jigging over those piles. Kenneth did a lot of moving with the trolling motors, and he knew how to put the front of the boat at the brush pile first, and then the back swung over. Those baits were constantly just rising a little bit and then gently settling down. With those big egg sinkers on there, that kept the baits fairly down, but they would still rise a little bit and then fall back down as we were just gliding over the brush piles. Pretty neat technique. A lot of movement, you're covering a lot of different brush piles. Hang gliding, convince me today. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Come here. Oh, other pole, here, this one. Oh, uh, you shook he him was off. on there, yep, he was on there. Well, Ken, that tells me there's some fish in here. Oh yeah, there's fish in here. It's just being able to fish them with this wind. And it's almost a swirling wind. Another decent fish here, folks. Another white crappie. Ken had just caught a black crappie in the same area. It is a nice. There we go, nice black. Decent there. black, yeah. Oh, he's a chunker too. Wow. Nice black crappie. Another little crappie. Yeah, I think mine a little bigger than that though. Oh yeah. That is a nice fish. We'll let this one go back, folks. Uh, yeah, but this one, he's on the cutting board. Nice, nice, nice. And I got him with the Jinko. Good deal. Wanted that bigger bait. No, I cut it down. Oh, did you? I cut it down. Basically, that's letting the fish tell you what they want. Something yes, a little sir. bit smaller. Good style. Well, folks, we're going to hit another shoreline. That'll be a good time for you to listen to our sponsors. So you stay tuned. We'll be right back with Brush Pile Fishing. Want more trucks for less bucks? Buckeye Ford is your truck headquarters. Work or play, we have the truck for you. F-150s, F-250s, F-350s, and F-450s. We know trucks, and you'll always get top dollar for your trade. Get the truck you need today for less bucks at Buckeye Ford and shop over 200 new Fords and tons of pre-owned cars and trucks 24-7 at BuckeyeFord.com. Remember, you'll find more trucks for less bucks at BuckeyeFord.com. More trucks, less bucks. BuckeyeFord.com. Driftmaster Rod Holders. Whether you are pushing, pulling, or organizing, Driftmaster has you covered with products that are made in America. We can rig any boat for any technique from front to back. Driftmaster, for the way you fish. Jenko Fishing, a bass and crappie lure manufacturer specializing in custom hard and soft baits. Jenko takes crappie fishing to another level with its unique championship proven products from its Big T lineup. Six different rod platforms, lightest net in the industry, four soft baits with 16 colors, cranks, terminal tackle, and much more. Visit JenkoFishing.com to get what you need to succeed in this crappie fishing world. Introducing NKT.TV, a brand new solution for the cord cutting generation. With NKT.TV, viewers enjoy viewer-specific programming with the ability to pick and choose the channels you wish to subscribe to. Missed brush pile fishing this week? Catch it on NKT.TV, along with all your other pursuit channel favorites. NKT.TV offers dozens of network and channel options for you, the viewer, to choose from. So go ahead, cut the cord, and get everything you want with nothing you don't. Visit NKT.TV today. This episode of Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by Mustad, best-selling hook on the planet. B&M Poles, official pole of Brush Pile Fishing. Jenko Fishing, Greater Grand Lake Region. NKT.TV, Brush Pile Fish Attractant. 
Nestled in northwest Pennsylvania, Crawford County and Mercer County offer an incredible array of outdoor activities and special attractions. Fishing, boating, hiking, and biking are major outdoor sports. Pima Tuning Lake was named by Game and Fish Magazine as a top 10 family fishing vacation destination. In addition to fishing, Shenango River Lake is an extremely popular powerboat and water skiing reservoir. Do you prefer to paddle your way to adventure? Explore French Creek's biodiverse upper and lower water trails. Then take the Upper Shenango River Water Trail, which begins at the outflow of Pima Tuning Lake and gently flows south for 23 scenic miles to the backwaters of Shenango River Lake. How about enjoying a trek on our wine, brew pub, and distillery trail? All are family owned and host events, festivals, and live music. You'll find tasting, educational programs, and special events at these locally owned and operated wineries. For more on these great attractions, go to visitcrawford.org and visit mercercountypa.com. There we go, Kent. Oh, that's not a bad fish. Oh, gosh. That is a dandy. Yes, sir. Hey, think you didn't want that bait? Well, that's a jinko. And having a rod in the hand makes a big difference, too, where you can actually feel that bite. That is another nice fish. Another white crappie. Look at there. There we go. What do you got there? Hey, look at Decent? that. Yeah. Another good, good keeper crappie. Folks, there have been two keys, and I know I've talked about it, but one is downsizing that bait, and the other, that pole in hand makes a big difference. Because a lot of these that are hitting them in the rod holder, you got one shot at them. That's another nice fish. Good cleaner size right there. Ken, let's talk a little bit. I know we touched on it briefly, and you may not want to bring it up, but I am. But crappie.com has got such a great following of crappie fishermen, and you were named their man of the year. That hey. was back in 2014. Here's a good one here. No, oh, I put me then. That's a heck of an honor because you're voted on by the members. Well, I'm not sure how, I'm, how I was voted, but I'm just so glad and thankful, humbled. We've had over 37,000 members. Yes, sir. And to be selected as uh, JMMA Man of the Year 2014 was such a big honor. Thomas, one of the questions that we get a lot is, how much does color matter? And uh, I guess my answer most of the time is, sometimes color doesn't matter. Whatever you throw, they're going to hit. Today, back here anyways, I've got two poles with a white and chartreuse, and I've got one I've put different colors on, but almost every fish has come off that white and chartreuse. Mm -hmm. So today's one of them days, it does make a difference, it does you know? Matter. yeah. Like I say, there's days when I go through 20 different jig bodies, yeah. different color combinations and everything, just to get to the one that they'll hit consistently. Now, I may catch fish on them, two or three different colors, but I'm trying to find the one that they'll hit consistently. Right. Now we have pulled into this little pocket and caught three or four black crappie. Mm -hmm. oh, that might be a little bit better. Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yes it is. Yes sir. Goodness. Definitely a little bit better. Look at here, folks. And there's a white in with all the black crappie mm -hmm. and a good, good fish. Single polling, buddy. Love it. Folks, there you can see how much of that we cut off. And they are hammering it. That might be a decent fish. Yeah, oh, is. yes. Look at there, folks. And I'll tell you what, that might be the one to end today on. Gosh darn. Look at there, another. And they are lively, as you can tell. Good fish. I'll tell you what, Ken, I have had an absolute ball today. Tell you what, folks, Shenango Lake is just unbelievable. Like I say, we're in the middle of October. We had a cold front come through, and we have just put a whooping on these fish. It has been 
every spot that we have went to, we've caught nice crappie. Super, super day. Super day. Ken, I appreciate you fishing with us here on Brush Pile Fishing. My pleasure, Russ. My pleasure. Been looking forward to getting out here with you guys for a couple years now. It's been well worth the wait, buddy. Yes, it has been. For more Brush Pile fishing excitement, find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.